I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. An earthquake warning has been issued for Clallam County, Grays Harbor County, Jefferson County, King County, Kitsap County, Lewis County, Mason County, Pierce County, San Juan County, Skagit County, Snohomish County, Thurston County, and Whatcom County, effective until 8.19 a.m. Type 2 diabetes? Discover the Ozempic Trizone. Oh, 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 Ozempic. I got the power of three. Oh. I lowered. This is a message from the King County Emergency Management. A magnitude 9.4 earthquake has struck the city of Seattle and western and northwestern portions of Washington state, which has created major damage to the area. A tsunami warning will likely go into effect for coastal areas. When a tsunami warning is issued, remember to evacuate to higher ground, away from the coast. Further updates will be released by National Weather Service in the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. With the earthquake situation, we are telling the public to do the following. Turn off the gas to your home or business immediately. If you smell gas or rotten eggs, evacuate the area immediately. Check your water and electric lines as well. Turn off utilities that have a broken line. Never turn your gas back on unless you are given the okay to do so by your utility company. Also prepare for aftershocks and follow earthquake procedures once you feel shaking. Messages could follow from local or state emergency management officials, the National Weather Service, or the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. Stay tuned to local television or radio for the latest on this situation. Eat like a king who's on a budget Three tasty options, fries, drink, and nuggets All for five bucks A broadcast or cable system has issued a tsunami warning for the following counties or areas, Oregon, Washington, at 8.38 a.m. on May 12, 2027 effective until 9.38 a.m. Message from Iposcap. This is a tsunami warning, from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. A tsunami warning has been issued for coastal areas of Oregon and Washington. At 8.24 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a tsunami as a result of a 9.4 magnitude earthquake has been indicated by observation systems. Urgent action should be taken immediately. If you are near a coastal area or any body of water connected to the Pacific Ocean, you are to evacuate the area immediately. Tsunami wave heights cannot be predicted and can vary due to local effects. Move to higher ground now. 
The first tsunami waves are expected to arrive along and into the Strait of Juan de Fuca within the next 45 minutes. Tsunamis of this nature can generate quickly. Areas near the coast should move to higher ground immediately. Tsunami warning issued by Emergency Management BC. A tsunami may impact low-lying coastal areas of British Columbia, including the following zones. Zone A, the North Coast, and Haida Gwaii. Zone B, the Central Coast, Northeast Vancouver Island Coast including Kitimat, Bella Coola, and Port Hardy. Zone C, the outer west coast of Vancouver Island from Cape Scott to Port Renfrew. Zone D, the Juan de Fuca Strait from the Jordan River to Greater Victoria, including the Saanich Peninsula, and Zone E, the Strait of Georgia including the Gulf Islands, Greater Vancouver, and Johnstone Strait. A tsunami is a series of waves, the first wave may not be the largest. There is a risk to life from flooding, dangerous waves, and strong ocean currents. People in these areas should move inland or to higher ground now. Do not return to the coast until local authorities advise it is safe to do so. Stay alert for instructions from local authorities for more information or updates. www.emergencyinfo.gov.bc.ca or Emergency Info BC on X social media platform. Tsunami warning. Repeat, tsunami warning. The National Weather Service has issued a tsunami warning for the following, all coastal areas of southeastern Alaska, all coastal areas of south central Alaska, all coastal areas of southwestern Alaska, until further notice. If you are located in any of these coastal areas, move inland to higher ground. At 7.24 a.m. Alaska Daylight Time on May 12th. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 9.4 occurred in the Cascadia subduction zone near the state of Washington. Estimated arrival times are as follows in Alaska Daylight Time. Southeastern Alaska on May 12th at 8.50 a.m. to 9.10 a.m. South Central Alaska on May 12th at 9.05 a.m. to 9.32 a.m. And in Southwest Alaska on May 12th at 9.32 a.m. to 10 a.m. Once again, the National Weather Service has issued a tsunami warning for the following, all coastal areas of southeastern Alaska, all coastal areas of south central Alaska, all coastal areas of southwestern Alaska, until further notice. If you are located in any of these coastal areas, move inland to higher ground. Stay tuned to your local news source and NOAA Weather Radio for further information and updates. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio Station KHB60, Seattle. Serving the greater Puget Sound area and broadcasting at a frequency of 162.55 MHz. The Marine Forecast. message. The following message is transmitted at the request of the King County Emergency Management. 
tsunami flooding has taken place in the city of Seattle from Elliott Bay. The following actions must take place to ensure the safety of the general public. Stay out of the tsunami hazard area and do not return to any evacuated area at this time. Stay away from areas that have been damaged. This includes buildings that have suffered earthquake or tsunami damage. Allow first responders to have full access to the area by not traveling. The evacuation order for King County may take a few days until debris left over from the tsunami is cleared out. This concludes this message from the King County Emergency Management. This is a British Columbia emergency alert. The government of British Columbia has issued a civil emergency alert. This alert is in effect for tsunami notification zones A, B, C, D, and E. The following messages for those affected by the tsunami. Do not return to evacuated areas until local authorities give you the all clear. The following is information from the Canadian Red Cross about what to do after a tsunami. Be prepared for aftershocks, which could generate another tsunami. Be aware of secondary effects after a tsunami event. This includes the following. Landslides, contaminated water, mud flows, damaged bridges, buildings, and roads as well as other hazards. Only make calls if you require emergency services. Stay out of any building that has water around it. Tsunami forces can cause floors to crack or walls to collapse. If you suspect your home is unsafe, do not enter. Rely on professionals to clear your home for re-entry. If you are unsure, do not light matches or turn on lights or appliances until you are sure there are no gas leaks or flammable liquids spilled. Avoid the use of contaminated water. Place a help sign if you are in need of assistance. The following has been information from the Government of British Columbia and the Canadian Red Cross. A civil authority has issued a civil emergency message for all of Alaska, beginning at 10 a.m. Alaska Daylight Time and ending at 11 a.m. Alaska Daylight Time. Residents affected by the recent tsunami do not return to any evacuated area until local authorities tell you when it is safe to do so. Do not travel in the evacuated area. Allow emergency services to clear debris from the roadways.